Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys my OSU settings because a lot of you guys have been asking and my settings inside of the game aren't really that special so I don't know why you guys want to see it but I guess I'll go over everything and explain why I have things set to the way that they are and uh, yeah, so here we go. So you want to open your options obviously and you'll be greeted with this. So we have a uh, language here and obviously uh, I speak English so I have English selected. Um, I don't know these I have unchecked release stream. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this. So I know a lot of people play stable and a lot of people play cutting edge and there's like really no advantage to playing on either uh some people play on stable because they get like lag spikes on cutting edge some people play cutting edge because they get lag spikes on stable so i don't know it's really just play around with the two um i don't know if stable actually was updated so that slider ends are a thing now but um yeah keep in mind that if you want to play on cutting edge you need supporter in order to join a multiplayer lobby. I think that's still a thing, so keep that in mind if you're an avid uh, multiplayer person. All right, so uh, going down, we have frame limiter. Uh, this I actually want to get into a little bit because this actually does affect your gameplay. Um, pretty much, if you guys have this capped at, let's say, 120, you guys can see bottom right here. Uh, this is like pretty much my latency. Right, it's at 8.4 milliseconds capped. So capping your FPS in this game, pretty much what it does is it adds input lag. And input lag is obviously not a good thing. So I would recommend playing on either VSync or uh, unlimited gameplay. And pretty much the reason gameplay is in brackets beside unlimited is because the only time you'll ever experience uh, unlimited frames is when you're playing so that's why it says gameplay in brackets so I would recommend doing that and as you guys can see we see a significant drop in our latency so right now my latency is at like 2.7 that's because I'm recording uh, generally if I'm not recording and I'm just playing it'll be at like 0 0.3 uh, and it honestly also depends on how good your computer is uh, and generally a rule of thumb is as long as your latency is like below, I'd say one, uh, one millisecond, as long as it's below that, you'll be fine. Uh, if it's above that, you know, try some stuff to reduce it. Uh, and one of the things is obviously going on unlimited frames. Right. So, uh, show FPS counter. This shows the latency and the FPS. I like to keep this on to tell me if I'm lagging or not and things like that. Compatibility mode, I have this off because I don't have any troubles running OSU. Uh, so yeah, I have this off. Reduce dropped frames. Um, I almost never get lag spikes. And even if I do get stutters, turning this on doesn't really help me. So I mean, you know, there's no real benefit for me to have this on, which is why I have this off. If you guys are experiencing like lag and stuff, uh, you guys can try turning this on. It might help out, but who really knows? Okay, so detect performance issues, um, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it doesn't really affect me negatively, so sure, I have this on. Uh, resolution, this is just your personal preference, really, it's just your pay play style. Uh, I play on native, uh, I used to play like windowed, like 1366, but I recently switched over to native, and yeah, I've been playing on that ever since. Uh, and I have full screen mode checked, letterboxing. You want to, okay, another thing, you want to always have full screen mode on, whether you're on windowed or on native. Uh, if you're on windowed mode, you want to check letterboxing, and what that does is it pretty much creates like a, a black sort of like outside thingy and makes it so that it can stretch to your screen and be full screen. So you can still play windowed, but full screen. And the reason you want to play full screen is because it reduces, uh, like I said, input lag by a lot. So yeah it if you guys aren't playing on full screen already and you switch over your cursor is probably going to feel really really different uh something you're probably not going to be used to but 
it's probably for the best. So I would say like stick with it for a while and see, um, because it should help you out. So yeah, that's uh, that's full screen mode. You always you want to have that on. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> um, detail settings. All right, so snaking sliders. This I have on usually, but sometimes I turn it off if I'm like on tilt. I don't know. It doesn't really change how I play, but somehow when I'm on tilt, I think this changes how I play, which it doesn't. Uh, but I have this on just because uh, I can. It helps me read sliders a little bit better. Um, if there's like a complicated pattern, sliders are easier to read for me. Um, but this is honestly personal preference. So, you know, find out what you like. Uh, the rest I find very distracting. So combo burst, hit lighting, shader, softening filter, all of these I find like really, really distracting, which is why I have all of these off. Uh, I have storyboards on though, cause sometimes, you know, I like to see the cool storyboards and things like that. And, uh... Yeah, no, that's pretty much it for detail settings. Screenshot format really doesn't matter. Um, I would say JPEG. And main menu, snow. I don't know if you want. Uh, yeah, none of this really matters, to be honest. Doesn't really affect gameplay. Uh, show thumbnail, I have this off because like there's really no point because when you hover over a song, the background literally is like in the background. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. Like if we go here, it's literally right here. So I mean, thumbnails, I don't know why you would need that. Makes things look cleaner too. Okay, so background dim. Uh, I'd recommend 100% background dim. Uh, a lot of higher ranking players play with 100% background dim, but if you guys want to see like the background and if there's like a video or like a storyboard that you guys want to see, um, you guys can do like 90% or I know some people who play with it fully off, but I mean, it's really, really distracting for me. So I have it hundred percent, uh, progress display is honestly, again, preference. You can have it a bar as a bar. You can have it as a pie. And what this is, is pretty much, it tells you how far you are through a song. Um, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. I can show you. It's like this thing right here. Uh, that's top right beside your accuracy. You can have it as a bar or a pie. Back when I was new to skinning, I actually thought that it had something to do with the skin, but it's actually just inside of the settings. So, uh, Score meter type, it's the thing at the very bottom. Uh, it tells you if you're hitting notes early or late. Uh, I have this on obviously so I can know. Uh, like if I hit a stream and I get like all 100s, I can look down and see if I'm over streaming or under streaming. Um, so this is nice to have just to tell you, you know, whether you're late or early. And meter size is preference again. Uh, key overlay is the thing to the right, tells you how many times you've pressed a button. Uh, I have this on just to tell me. And show approach circle on first hidden object. I have this on uh, even though I don't play hidden much, um, I still have it on. So yeah, all of this is, I left at default. Uh, volume, I guess this is important, not really, but uh, master volume, I have 50% because I find 100% is too loud. And then the music, I have half and the effect, I have it 100. And that's so that uh, I can actually hear the, what's it called, the hit sounds better, uh, which helps me with accuracy, which is why I have the effect higher than the music. And then ignore beatmap hit sounds. Some beatmaps actually have very nice hit sounds, so I leave this off. Uh, whenever I find a map that has like annoying hit sounds, like I don't know slider whistles or something like that, I just check the uh, ignore for the individual beatmap. So yeah. Uh, universal offset. I have this on zero. Uh, I would recommend keeping it on zero unless you really know what you're doing, like. If you know that you're delayed by like negative seven, then put it on negative seven. I don't know. Um, but generally I say keep it on zero because one or two milliseconds won't really make a difference to be honest. But if you really want to have it like as precise as you can be, then you can find out how to play around with this. Uh, skin, I switch around from a lot of skins, but generally I stick with the Yugen skin. Uh, and right now I'm using the Azer edit, but Generally, yeah, I do switch around from skin to skin a lot. 
So yeah, ignore all beatmat skins. I have just checked. Uh, use skin sound samples. Check. And always use skin cursor is checked as well because I don't want like a random butterfly cursor when I'm playing with some other map, you know? So yeah, uh, cursor size I have this on 1x. Uh, use combo color is 10 for slider. This should actually be checked. I don't know. This just makes the slider ball look nicer, so I like to have this on. Um, and automatic cursor size I don't have this on. Alright, sensitivity. I've been getting a lot of questions from this uh, for, for my tablet video that I made. Um, a lot of people ask me like what sensitivity they should play on. For mouse, you can change this around. It's perfectly fine for you to change this around. But for tablet, you should honestly keep this just at 1x. Because it's less accurate if you change your sensitivity while using a tablet with this. Uh, I would say keep this at 1x, and then if you want, like, your tablet to go faster, make your area smaller. Like, you don't have to change around the sensitivity when you can change your tablet area, which is effectively the same thing, except just better. Um, so yeah, I keep this on 1x, and I recommend you do too if you're using a tablet. Alright, so, moving on to raw input. Raw input, I have this checked and pretty much it just provides more accurate movements with your tablet. Some people have this off, some people have this on. I don't know. It's I guess it's personal preference. I have it on cuz I don't know. It's I when I play CS:GO, I have raw input on, so I'm like, "Hey, raw input. It's probably something that I need." So I have it on. Uh I don't think this works with some tablets. Uh I know it works for mice obviously, but for tablets, I think I have the Wacom, so it works with mine, like the Wacom CTL 480. Works with mine, I'm not sure if it'll work with other tablets, just try it out, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Uh, map, absolute raw input to the OSU window, I have this unchecked. Um, yeah, I have this unchecked. Disable mouse wheel, I have this unchecked because sometimes I like to change the volume in the middle of a song if like it's too loud or too quiet. And then confine mouse cursor, I have it on never. Cursor ripples, I have that off. Disable mouse buttons, definitely have this on. And keyboard bindings, uh, I either use X and C or Z and X. I don't know. I'm using X and C because it's a bit more comfortable for me. And the rest, I guess, doesn't really matter. Yeah, the, the rest doesn't really matter. Um, this stuff I have all off. I don't really want to play around with this, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of intimidating, so I'm just like, yeah, I'll just leave this off. But that's pretty much it. Like, there's nothing really... Yeah, there's there's nothing else. Uh, one thing I would recommend turning off, though, is this. Show, uh, show notification pop-ups instantly during gameplay. Uh, I'd recommend having this off, because if someone starts spamming you in the middle of a song when you're FCing, it'll pop up and it's kind of annoying so yeah I would recommend leaving this off unless you don't have a lot of friends which is not a bad thing but if you don't have a lot of friends you probably don't have to worry about getting spammed but uh yeah that's uh that's pretty much it guys um that was my OC settings and again most of this stuff is personal preference okay so don't like it copy me exactly and expect to you know be amazing or whatever. I'm not that amazing. But yeah, uh, it's all, most of it is personal preference, but that's pretty much it. Uh, the lat latency stuff that I mentioned, like the uncapping the frames and full screening with letterboxing if you're windowed, definitely do those. Give those a shot because those will help you reduce input lag and nine times out of ten it'll help you. So anyways guys, that was the video. Uh, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Uh, I will have the skin link in the description so you guys don't ask me for it. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.